Okay, so I'm here with uh, Jonah Lira, who's just done a fantastic talk uh, to a packed uh, a great room and been asked some quite interesting questions. I'm going to ask you the, the question now that I ran out of time to ask okay. you, right? Which is, if I had to choose one thing from all the literature, people like you and uh, Jonathan Haidt's book, Happiness yeah. Hypothesis, which, which I, love, I love, absolutely, it would be this, that our personalities are much less fixed than we think they are and much more dependent on context. But the things that will give us satisfaction are much more fixed. Uh, and, you know, there's only actually a certain number of things that make us feel good. And absolutely. we can have all the cars in the world and all the TVs in the world. But absolutely. It's, is that and, right? and, yeah, I, I think especially from the happiness hypothesis, you do such a wonderful job of saying the things that make you happy are moments of flow, moments when you lose awareness of time and lose self-consciousness when you're just doing something you love, be it gardening or painting or reading a novel. Um, that's when people are happiness. And it's social attachments. That makes us happy. So we should ignore the barrage of ads telling us that happiness is a Rolex watch and a fancy car, because that's exactly backwards. That those are the rewards we adapt to. Those are the rewards that quickly bore us and we habituate to and just become sources of status anxiety. That, that what makes us happy is other people and, and, and losing ourselves in an activity we love. Now you're here to, to, to launch the decisive moment, which people can buy if they click on the website. <laughs> uh, just tell me finally what project are you working on now? Because I know you're incredibly productive. I read the blog every day. What's the, what's the next thing that uh, John Lear is going to produce? I'm, I'm, I'm doing some fun articles at the moment. Uh, one on that marshmallow task we talked about this evening and Walter Mitchell's work on updating the marshmallow task. Um, doing, doing, do, doing some articles on magic and neuroscience, what neuroscience can learn from magicians. And just beginning to think about a third book. But that's still at a very, very early and stage. And when you do the third book, will you come and talk about it here? That would be my deep honor. Thank you so much for having me. John Lear, thank you.